Future Sports back with another video. Uh, before I get into the video, I just want to uh, mention that we have a TikTok page here. We have over a hundred plays that we post. Any play that you don't see on YouTube, you will see on here because we can't make videos for every single play that we post. But we are hitting close to 60% overall for the season. We're eight and two in our last 10 games. We're hitting 80% in our last 10 games posted. Okay. We had Florida State and Medvedev. These two plays, we went one and one here. We had Collins yesterday, or we had Garcia yesterday, Collins the day before. And then we had um, Saskatchewan. All these were winners Collins, Goff, Javor. Um, Zhang, Sinyakova, we had gone five straight winners here. Um, so go ahead and check out our um, TikTok page, Future Sports, same as our YouTube page. Any plays that you don't see on YouTube, you'll see them on TikTok. Okay, got over 100 plays here. So, okay, back to tennis. So we have men's tennis again, Yannick Sinner, Carlos Alcaraz, Alcaraz opened up as a 175, 180 favorite. Uh, I like these under two to one favorites uh, because these are very tricky for the public because the public likes to bet favorites. But I believe uh, this is a trap here for Alcaraz. And I'm actually leaning Sinner here in this matchup. Uh, I like Sinner in this matchup. And I do have a slight lean on the over. All right, so Alcaraz is ranked fourth, been very consistent. Sinner's ranked 13th. So about eight, nine spots um, difference, okay? All right, so Alcaraz, he's won four, six out of his last seven matches here. He just went five sets with Silich. Okay, this was very competitive matchup. And then Sinner, on the other hand, has also won six out of his last seven matches, going five sets with Ivashka. Okay, so very competitive matches here. That's why I lean the over as well. I feel like this match could go over um, if Sinner can't get the job done. So I have a slight lean on the over, but my main play is going to be on Sinner here at the plus three. Okay, so right here, let's see what the point spread is. If it moved, I'm not sure if it moved, but we'll check what the spread is. I'm sure it's still plus three. It couldn't have moved that much. Uh, let's see if we can pull up the spread. If they allow us to uh, see the spread. Okay, so... Let's see here. All right, so he he's won four out of his uh, six out of his last seven matches here. Okay, both players going to five sets. All right, here's the spread pulled up. We got plus three. Okay, so Ace Line Pros both offering plus three on Sinner. So I'm gonna have to take pl the plus three here on Sinner. I think this matchup could be competitive. And with this line opening up so low at, uh, it was 175, 180, I believe Sinner can actually um, stay in this matchup with Alcaraz. And it could go another four sets, five sets. I'm seeing that because these players are spent, exhausted, from these uh these five set matches here he just played a five set match so i expect them to clean up the mistakes and play slightly better defense but that's gonna interfere with the opponent as well because they're gonna be playing defense also so i i could expect i expect like a a tie break type of um you know maybe we get a seven five and a tie break and that would probably push it over and you know if it's a three one or if it goes five sets it that should get the over here so uh that's my slight lean let's see what the total is i believe it was 40. so let's just wait for the, this site is kind of this site kind of lags a little bit um so let's see sinner and alcaraz 40. okay so 
the total is 40 on this matchup it actually went up a little bit from 39 and a half so i like the over i'm leaning the over but my uh main play is going to be on sinner here at the plus three so that's going to do it for this video uh so we got uh sinner plus three tiafo on the money line slight lean on the over on this carlos alcaraz sinner matchup so i'll be back with some more videos so comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you then